Hey there folks, I got my Alex today. Uh, Alex is of course one of the newest figures from SF5 series of uh, figures from Storm Collectibles. He looks goddamn amazing. Um, to be to be uh, to be frank, I really hate, <laughs> I really don't like Alex's uh, design in ah, crap. I really don't like Alex's design in SFV, but uh, I don't know. The f the figure makes it uh, makes makes it work. Mm, yeah, it looks it, it looks really good in hand. It's of course a lot of fun to pose this guy around. As you can see, I have him leaping at us with a fiery punch. Sort of. I don't know this uh, move. Sorry, I don't play Alex. I haven't played uh, SF5 in a while. But either way, this figure looks great. Let's just jump to uh, the review. God damn, these figures are so fucking fun to pose. So yeah, here's Alex. Finally out of the box and he looks really cool. As long as you like good looking figures. Because to tell you the truth, I don't like, I really don't like Alex's design in SF5. Like I said before, yeah, it's very boring. But uh, at least in figure form, it looks really, really good. Well, the figure is just amazing. So that's that. Uh, <laughs> he's super beefy, very tall, uh, looks really good with all of the figures in the series. Mm. He's super expressive also. As you can see, I've uh, switched out his face. This is his neutral face. Um, I've also given him different bangs. These are swept um, by the wind to the back, like so. Uh, he has three pairs of both uh, the bangs and the heads. Uh, yeah, looking at the, at the sculpt, he's, well, he really looks like a figure from this series. Um, so, beefy arms, beefy chest, everything. Uh, super huge legs. Uh, the, things, uh, the, the thing I like most of all in him is the hair, the way the bandana is uh, hidden beneath it. Really, really great idea. Looks awesome. Um, articulation wise, well, you know what? We'll go to articulation in a bit. <laughs> Let's look at his uh, suspenders. They are attached here to the belt and here in the back. And what's cool is that they are latex, so it's really easy to move them around, move the figure with them. Mm, also, as with Akuma and Ryu, Ken, whatever figure that has a belt that's, uh, that can be removable and is removable, the suspenders also are removable here, here, and in the back. But I want to do it now because it's a bit of a pain to make it uh, go back in the hole. But yeah, you can remove it very easily. Uh, the shirt looks like so. Uh, the cross pattern is sculpted into the material, so that's great. It's also sculpt sculpted underneath. That's even better. Um, I like the torn pants, looks looks really good, the uh, knee looks nice, there's a bit of uh, bunched, up, um, bunched up material here, uh, yeah, the combat boots looks re look really good, mm. so, articulation, he has the standard two-way uh, joint in the head, so, up and down, also, since that head back doesn't come out very easily on this one it's really easy to uh, maintain a position with the head that's great most of my street fighter figures have uh, the pegs that come very loose so yeah that's that very very expressive i love it uh, he can rotate in the swivel swivel in the waist and ab also he has a crunch very very nice crunch um, to the back, very nice. So, butterfly joints, thanks to them his chest can flex, it's amazing, I love this, mm, yeah, arms go up, down, left, right, etc, like so, rotate, um, rotation of the bicep, uh, double elbow that works really like a single elbow, Hands 
bend and rotate as well. Legs go up really nice, back really nice to the side. Really, really good. Um, I think that's more than some of the figures before him. There's a thigh rotation, double knees, but again, like with the elbow, they really work like single knees. Rotation and at the boot and rotation plus a very nice rocker in the uh, feet, also toes. So there's a lot of articulation, all of that is standard with this series so far, nothing new here. Um, so let's talk about some accessories. As I said before, he has uh, different <laughs> heads, uh, different head accessories. Uh, what I really love about this, it's uh, to switch out the face, you need to first get the hairpiece out. So it's a bit of a two-way verification like you do on your PC. One way, uh, two step, sorry. One step, two step. Second step. Uh, but yeah, there's this one. So the calm head, you would say. He has the standard three expression combo. So the a bit angry head and the shouty shouty head. This one is easily the best. These two are uninteresting. This one, I think it's not that great. But let's use it. So that's that. Now to switch the hairpiece. It's one, two... And the standard, let's use this one, goes like this. And on the head. So yeah, um, that's Alex. Also, he comes with four pairs of hands, of which three are, again, the standard stone collectibles. Hands, pack-ins. So fists, Hadouken hands, fingery posy hands. <laughs> Uh, this effect goes on his fist, as you've seen before, like so. Stays really well, looks like a shoryuken, but it's painted way different from Ken's. Ken has something like this. This one is just yellow. I'm not sure which uh, of his attacks that is. Maybe the elbow thingy he does or something from his V-trigger. Still, it looks really good. It's a curved punch. Love it. So, so nice. You can use it with a bunch of different figures. Um, and yeah, fourth part, I hope you will uh, easily know what that should be. He has his karate chop hands. And with that, let's use his other energy attack. The, this thing here. Again, I don't remember how this is called, but I know this attack, at least, uh, goes like this. <laughs> yeah, the sound effect is also from the game. Um, like this. Looks really nice. It's a slicing attack with his fingers. So that's cool. Fits on both hands, fits both ways, even if you want it like this. No problem at all. Looks really cool. Um, and that's that for accessories. I mean, he also has the stand like all figures do, so yeah. Now it's, I think, it's comparison time. First, let's go with height. He's 20 centimeters tall to the top of his head. That's really nice. Uh, he is really tall. He is one of the tallest figures. We have Chun Li, she's the smallest figure. Here's Ken doing his uh, duck face. <laughs> Looks really nice. Ken and Ryu are, are of course at the same height. So yeah, that's that's that. Chun and Ken are mostly the same size. Alex is really huge next to them. Akuma or Goki if you prefer and Bison or Vega if you prefer. Uh, look like like this this is my akuma with the hairpiece i have i've made for him from scratch uh, as you can see akuma is smaller bison is almost on par with alex they look really dope together yeah, there's only one figure left i could show him with that's zangief 
Zangief, as you can see, is really tall. He is lo a lot bigger than Alex. Uh, they are like Ryu and Ken to Akuma. They can do the stare down, face down. Mm -hmm. That's nice. Or even touch nips. <laughs> really, really cool stuff. And that's that. Alex is a... Uh, hmm. It's a tough figure to say if uh, you should buy him or not. I mean, I was on the fence for most of the time. If I should go, just go and grab him. I'm a completist with this line. I don't buy alternate colors, but I do like to have every figure. Even if I don't care for Alex and even his Street Fighter V look the most. It's, that's uh, for you to choose, but if I, I am to say one thing, he's just so goddamn fun to pose around. Looks really cool and yeah, at least you, at the very least, if you don't like the character, you could use him as a bad guy on your shelf or something. Plus, this is sick and this is cool. So yeah, let me know in the comments below what you like about him. Leave a like under this video and see you around guys.